Today's topic for discussion is Symptoms of Non-Parasitic Diseases. A major loss of crop also takes place by non-pathogenic organisms and the non-infectious diseases of plants are caused by absence of any important life-supporting factors or presence of the factor in excess. Okay, The non-infection or non-parasitic diseases cannot be transmitted from one disease plant to a healthy plant. For a long duration, it was believed that the diseases are caused by adverse environmental factors. But recently, it has become clear that the non-parasitic diseases in the plants are to be environmental pol- due to environmental pollution, disturbances in the environment and debris from nuclear weapons. The list of non-parasitic diseases, uh, let us discuss here. All these are the uh, non-parasitic symptoms which are caused by non-parasitic diseases. Even the non-parasitic diseases causes different types of symptoms in the plant. And let us discuss the symptoms of non-parasitic diseases here. Number one, injury. Number two, cracks. Number three, sun scald. Sun, sudden death, leaf tatter, leaf scorch, odema, pallor, drooping. All these are the different types of symptoms of non-parasitic diseases which occur on several types of economically important plants. Let us see what is injury. Injury type of symptom. Injury to the plant occurs in different way and during pre-harvest treatment of the crop injury is caused during the process of weeding at the time of removal of weeds and in India weeds are removed by specific uh, assessor that is accessory is used for the removal of the weeds and uh, sometimes that injure that injures the main plant the uh, required plant uh, which is sown by the farmer and such injured plants have a face have to face other prob- problems like at- attack of the soil bone fungi and other saprophytic organisms because of the injury the health of the plant declines and during harvest of tuberous vegetables or tuberous rhizomes of medicinal importance, there are great possibilities of mechanical injuries to the crop. The injured produce lose market value, hence great responsible uh, for great economic, that is responsible for heavy economic losses of the farmer. The, the vegetable plants having spines also get injured by their own spines during rough handling at the time of harvest. Especially this occurs in case of eggplant. When they collected in the container during harvest time, the injuries cause death of the plant because of the injury becomes uh, a way of entry of pathogenic organisms. Okay, In the region of Kashmir and, uh, and another snowfall regions of India, plant injuries observed due to snowfall and its accumulation, especially in case of evergreen plants. The breakage of leaves, buds and twigs takes place due to the long, uh, long-term deposition of ice on the plant part. Sometimes because of increasing weight of the snow falls on the branches of healthy trees and shrubs broken down. And the herbaceous ground flora and lichens also get disturbed due to the heavy rainfall. Sometimes the scales of lichen breaks and fall on the ground due to the continuous heavy ice fall. The ground herbs got enveloped by ice. Cold temperature injuries to plant also caused during transpa- transplantation of plants and from one place to another. And if the environment consists of severe, severe, severely cold temperature because the roots get exposed, severely cold environment hence freezing and drying, drying injuries occur in the transplants and such injuries also responsible for destruction of the crop. The injuries to the ornamental trees and shrubs in the gardens are caused due to the careless handling of uh, garden mowers and edge that uh, by the use of the machines also several injuries are caused uh, in the garden plants and which are used to grass cutting such machines are also responsible to cause several injuries to the plants. Let us see another type of symptom which is a non-parasite which is caused by non-parasitic disease that is cracks. 
In this case, the bark of trees or shrubs split open. This occurs mostly during rapid decrease in the climatic temperature and the cracks are also formed due to previous injury to the stem plant, stem of the plant. And the cracks formation in uh, trees bark is tropical in tropical and subtropical region is observed due to increase in temperature, disappearance of moisture from air. During severe winter season, the cracks may become wider. Many of the trees plants secrete gum through the split open spaces and many of them get injured through the cracks. Such cracks sometimes get closed due to formation of callus. Mostly the callus is formed in summer days. The cracks are deep, mostly narrower, sometimes becomes wider and are deep in the bark only. Okay, Such type of cracks also responsible they, that, that gives entry to the different types of pathogenic organisms into the host. This is also one of the thing. Next. This is sun scald type of symptoms which are caused by non-parasitic. This is one of the symptoms caused by non-parasitic. Uh, it is a non-parasitic symptom which occurs in several types of plants. And in this sun scald, the bright sun rays penetrate the bark of the tree or whole day. And in the evening after sunset, the temperature falls rapidly. That adversely affects the tissue of the bark. Young growing trees and soft thin bark trees and shrubs found more susceptible to sun scald injuries. Mostly the tissues at the affected area get killed. Okay, This is a symptom uh, called as sun scald symptom which is a non-parasitic. Next. This is sudden death of the uh, plant takes place. This is also one of the non-parasitic uh, disease symptoms. What happens in red pine, it is a tree. It is a timber yielding important tree of the northern and central South America. And the uh, Cornell University, uh, Ithaca reported a sudden de death of re red pine. And um, that is stated trees in apparently excellent health suddenly die. Trees begin to become weak for several years before they die. Several factors are responsible for the cause. It has noted that the decline and the death of the red pine appears to be associated with wet feet problem that is in which the affected root systems are growing in soil uh, are in a variably shallow or poorly drained. In such soils, most of the roots are confirmed to the upper 6 inches of soil. Typically, these root systems are in various stages of deterioration. The shallow and poorly declined topsoil appears to be responsible for triggering the decline of the red pine. During the years of high rainfall, soil on these sites become saturated, that roots are starved, starved of oxygen and suffocate. In the summer, the recovery of the root system is possible. During the period of prolonged uh, period of high spring soil moisture continues several years so that the disseminated root system eventually loses its ability to nourish, uh, nourish the growing crown and decline vegans. Old red pines are more susceptible because of their large size and size of the crown and root system. Too much or too little water around the tree system appears to lead the dieback of roots and less development of the branches. These, these are the factors responsible for sudden death of the uh, plant and uh, sudden death, death it is a type of symptom which is called which is non-parasitic. Next type of symptom that is uh, leaf tatter. It is also very common symptom in uh, occurs in several types of plant. Because of non para, it is a non parasitic symptom, and in the very cold areas of the world, plant face to frost injuries. The freezing injury to the leaves causes numerous holes to the leaf, and or a tattered appearance. Okay, the leaves showing this injury remains on the tree for long period. The plant which new with numerous such leaves looks unhealthy and declined. Decline tender leaves. That is tender younger leaves are more susceptible to freezing injury. Sometimes the injury in severe cases kills the leaves. In general the freezing injury is not uh, detectable until the leaves are fully expanded. The frost killed areas appear in prominent holes. The frost injured leaves do not show perfect growth 
in comparison to other non-injured leaves. Sometimes uneven growth also frequently contribute to the uh, distortable appearance of the injured leaves. The badly tattered leaves which will fall off early before development and new leaves are formed on the such young shoots of the uh, on the young shoots of the plant hence the injury does not usually seriously harm the trees but it is a type of symptom which is very commonly occur and it is the symptom which is caused by non parasitic disease let us see another type of symptom that is leaf scorch leaf scorch it is a physiological problem that can occur in any kind of plant the factors causing leaf scorch are due to soil compaction nutrition deficiency and more exposure of plant to the environment during transplantation and chemical injury poor soil or limited space for root development and proliferation all these factors are responsible to cause a leaf scorch type of symptoms leaf scorch also occurs when the root system cannot get enough water hot water hot dry environmental that the hot dry environment increases the severity of leaf scorch especially just before summer days the affected leaf tissue becomes yellowish due to upper functioning of the chlorophyll that is uh, and the yellowing extend gradually toward the healthy region of the leaf later on the yellowing replace the necrotic zone that is uh, zone of the dead tissue has the region of leaf the leaf tissue is brown in color the leaf scorch symptoms starts from the margin of the leaf or anywhere on the leaf sometimes dark angular spots are formed in the uh, discolored area the affected leaves fell off the affected plant also shows same twig dieback these are the symptoms characteristics of symptom which are called leaf scorch symptoms which is a non parasitic next this is odema odema it is another type of symptom which is caused by non parasitic factor odema is type of symptom in which small spots or corky blisters are formed on any part of the plant excluding roots odema of root occurs when the roots takes up water faster than it can be used by the plant the water pressure water pressure builds up in a, in the mesophyll of the leaf resulting into small raised blisters are formed on the leaf and the blisters occur mostly on the lower surface of the leaf these spots gradually become hard to form whitish or brownish colored warty growth of the affected region in severe cases of corky growth also occurs on petals petioles and stem and the plant this is, uh, this is one of the very common symptom and uh, it likely to develop when the soil is warm and moist and the air is cool and moist such an environment is responsible for rapid absorption of the soil uh, rapid water absorption from the soil and slow water loss from the leaves the uh, the uh, certain fleshy leaves plants and sensitive uh, plants leaves are very sensitive the fleshy leaves are sensitive to the so to such non parasitic diseases vegetable like cabbage and tomato can be affected another type of symptom which is caused by non parasitic factor it is a name of the symptom is pallor pallor is a type of symptom which is caused due to various non parasitic agencies or biotic like uh, biotic factors like algae it is the yellowing of leaves which possesses the pathogen internally or externally on the yellow spot if the pallor is developed due to non parasitic pathogen pathogen it shows only yellow spots without any pathogenic organism next drooping is another type of symptom which is caused by the non parasitic agency in several types of plant drooping is observed and drooping symptoms are observed in a variety of plants due to biotic and non abiotic factors and the leaves are infected by the uh, biotic factors are uh, the fungi Uh, the several types of fungi which cause the diseases like sarcospora alternaria etc but even because of the non parasitic factor drooping of the uh, plant or drooping of the leaves occurs it is very common symptom next thank you very much save trees save earth